Hey you guys, my name is uh, Chris Lewandowski. I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona, Princess Center Dentistry. Today we're doing a little video on um, what to do when your gums bleed. So the first thing to do is don't panic. Uh, a lot of people have gums that can bleed, especially when they've been traumatized or irritated. Uh, you might be asking yourself, why do my gums bleed? Uh, the number one answer is inflammation. So something has caused your gums to become inflamed and when your tissue is inflamed and then it's touched, a lot of times uh, bleeding occurs, which isn't always a bad thing. So when you bleed, uh, your body will send uh, the repair cells to the area so that um, your body can repair and fix whatever the source of the bleeding is. Um, so there's some uh, T3 and mast cells that occur in the area and can expedite healing. But so if you bleed, if you uh, maybe you floss or maybe you got some caught in your teeth and your gums are bleeding and you're concerned, um, you can brush the area gently with a toothbrush and be running under some warm water um, and just kind of massage the area and see if you can't get um, that tissue to relax. Of course, you're going to try some floss and there's an old secret about floss. So if you floss uh, between a, a, a few teeth multiple times, you're going to re-traumatize the area. A great way to get food out of uh, in between your teeth is to put a knot in the floss like this. Don't pull it very tight. And then run that through uh, the contact or through the gums. And if there is food in there, uh, it'll be sure to dislodge it. You can even double knot it to make that knot bigger. Um, warm salt water rinse, kind of swish that around, is very effective uh, at kind of relieving uh, irritated gum tissue. Uh, and what I would stay away from would be um, some of the alcohol-based mouth rinses like Listerine. It might actually do more harm than good. Um, and also something like peroxide, hydrogen peroxide, which kind of kills a lot of bacteria, um, good and bad. Uh, tends to be a little bit aggressive and may not really help the condition. So I would steer clear of alcohol rinses and hydrogen peroxide. Warm salt water rinse and, and a floss with a knot is what I highly recommend. Um, do you ever have to call the dentist? Is it ever an emergency? No. Uh, should you be seen by the dentist? Yeah, if you can't resolve it on your own within a day or two, I would give the dentist a call. It's also very helpful to take a picture, maybe with your cell phone. You can send it in to your dentist uh, or take a picture over uh, the span of several days and see if it's getting better or getting worse. And your dentist should be able to guide you on whether or not you should come in and have the area looked at and potentially debrided. So I hope this has been helpful about what to do when your gums bleed and some of the common sources of uh, bleeding gums is. Uh, we'll do more videos during the week on other popular topics. Again, my name is Chris Lewandowski from Princess Center Dentistry. It's Monday night. Have a great night, and uh, we'll see you later in the week.